as a member of the Satel Institute, I'm also able to work with other CEOs in the Philadelphia region who believe in giving back. So it's my distinct pleasure to have the opportunity to introduce our next award recipient. The next award honors Carl Schaffel, who was the president and CEO of the Mainline Chamber of Commerce from 1981 to 1996. A kind, generous, and loyal person, he was widely respected and admired and a big presence along the main line. The F. Carl Schaffel Community Award goes each year to an individual who shares Carl's deep commitment to serving the community as a leader and a volunteer. Ed Sattel is a longtime successful entrepreneur on the main line. He's a resident of Ballackinwood and a philanthropist with a passion to support uh, the work of nonprofit organizations, and he is this year's winner. He founded and fully endowed the Sattel Institute as an independent, nonprofit, nonpartisan think and do tank for corporate social responsibility that is focused on championing the inter the independence. Uh, the interdependence, excuse me, of successful business organizations and the well-being of communities that operate in and the need uh, for each other. When the pandemic hit this year, Mr. Sattel issued a challenge to those of us who were corporate members of the Sattel Institute, where he would match $1 million worth of our donations to nonprofit organizations. And as a result of his generosity, nearly $3 million was raised to support the missions of the local nonprofits. His philanthropy has focused on organizations that vary from the Franklin Institute to the Technion Israel Institute of Technology. This year's F. Carl Schaffel Community Service Award goes to Ed Sattel. First, I'd like to say that we have enjoyed our relationship with the Mainline Chamber, which has been the case since the beginning of the Sattel Institute. The Sattel Institute is a distinguished membership organization of like-minded CEOs in the region focused on corporate social responsibility to make the communities they live and work in better for all. A key mission is supporting nonprofits who in many ways are the community workhorses in solving quality of life issues such as education, healthcare, child development issues, and many other issues that are having a troubling impact on people's quality of life. Sole requirement to be a member, other than being a CEO or the local equivalent, is to contribute a minimum of $25,000 a year for four years, that's a $100,000 total, to a nonprofit of their choice in recognition of the vital role nonprofits play to make our community better for everyone. I was so distressed to learn how the pandemic had cut so much of the nonprofit funding that a high percentage were in, in danger no longer of being able to carry out their functions. I thought about how I could improve the situation with the leadership by example. So I decided on contributing $1 million to assist many of the leading nonprofits who are members of the Sattel Institute. I asked our CEO members to match my gift with a $10,000 contribution to one or more of the nonprofits of their choice. The response from our members, CEOs, was greater than expected. Even though many had already contributed much to support the community, about two-thirds of our members promptly, altruistically, and enthusiastically responded. Amazing that many not only did the $10,000 match, but many did so much more, 25,000, 50,000, and over $100,000 and more. Within days, many responded with their chosen match. Within two weeks, we passed our goal of $2 million contribution to regional nonprofits. The campaign ended with 30 days, within 30 days as promised, with a total of about $3 million that had been raised in that short period. There are two ideas that our members take to heart. First is we all stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. Now it is our present leaders' turn to take the opportunity to add to that and make our communities even better. Second is to think we, not just me, 
even in the face of an unprecedented pandemic and economic challenge. The community is so much better when we think we, not just me.